Hello everyone. Here I am Kuldeep Malviya, and today we are going to learn about data aggregation in WSN. So, first of all, let us understand the term what is WSN. So, let's take a quick intro about it. Here, WSN stands for Wireless Sensor Networks. And what is sensor network? Sensor network is the device which measures the physical quantity and convert it into the observable, which is easily observed by any instrument. And these sensor nodes are highly distributed light weighted nodes deployed in a large number to monitor the environment of the system. So basically WSN sensor networks uh, sends the data or capture the behavior of the environment and store the data. And these sensor nodes are fitted with on both processing. So this is about the quick intro about wireless sensor network. Let's take to the our back to the our main topic data aggregation. So data aggregation is the process of collecting and aggregating the useful data or we can say transmit the sensor data from each sensor nodes to a base station and here what is base station base station is the place where all the sensor nodes submit their data to the base station and these base station transmit transmit the sensor data to the internet for further analysis storage and processing Data aggregation is the one of the fundamental processing procedure for saving the energy. In data aggregation, data aggregation for transmission the transmission of data, we use one one term called one round. In one round, base station collecting data from all the sensor nodes once means base station should have to collect the all the data from all the sensor nodes in once in a one round. So this is the one round and the main objective of the data aggregation is to minimize the energy and reduce the time delay, uh, so, time delay so that our network's lifetime is enhanced and in data aggregation we we, we have the sum of the algorithms and the, uh, this algorithm we compare uh, this algorithm compare on the basis of uh, energy consumption and the delay <coughs> sorry so first uh, algorithm is data transmission in this algorithm, all the sensor nodes transmit their data directly to the bus, base station. So in this uh, algorithm, these sensor nodes directly send their data to the base station. But we see some of the issues in this algorithm. And the issues is that if some of if, if the sum of the nodes uh, are far are far from the far away far from the base station, it takes the energy take the more energy and take a time to submit their data so it is the expensive in term of energy consumption and media delay is also large so it is performed very poor so let's take to the let's go to the next algorithm pegasus power efficient gathering for sensor information system this algorithm based on the assumption that all the sensor nodes knows the knows the location of every other node means this algorithm knows the, the location of their nearby nodes all the nearby nodes if these nodes want to send their data they, di they does not directly send their data to the base station they, they send their data to the in their range of in their range to the uh, nearby nodes and this node uh, send their data to the to their uh, in their range and this node transmit their data to the this node so in this way these are these are these all are nodes uh, make a make a path make a chain to submit their data to the base station the goal of this uh, algorithm is to minimize the node transmission distance lower overhead of bro broadcasting minimize number of messages message that that need to be sent to the base station equal distribution of energy consumption across all the nodes in the next algorithm is data binary scheme it is chain based scheme as we see in last previous uh, algorithm here also it from the chain it is based uh, it is chain based as scheme in which nodes are classified into different levels this uh, nodes are classified into some are some of the levels let's see let's take an example if if you have the uh, seven nodes and these nodes want to send the data to the base station so uh, in the first step, S1 send their data to S2, S3 send the data to the S4, 
and S5 send data to S6. In the second step, second step S2 S S2 has the data, S4 and S6 has the data. So S2 send their data to the S4 and and S6 send data to S7. Here S4 uh, S4 carry the uh, S1 and S2 and S3 data. And here S7 carries the carries the data of, data of S3, S4, S5. Sorry, uh, sorry. S uh, S7 uh, carries the data of S5, S6. In the next step, in the next step, S4 S4 carries uh, S sorry S4 su submit their data to the S7 because uh, fine uh, data is in uh, in the S7 node and uh, S4. So S4 submit data to S7. In the last S7 submit the data to directly to the base station. So here all the nodes are formed their some levels to submit their data. The next algorithm is chain based chain based three level scheme. In this algorithm, chain is construct constructed, but chain is divided into number of groups to space out simultaneous transmission. Here, if you see, if you see, there are two groups. There, are G1 and G2. In this group, the node, the the nodes send their data to the one leader node. Here, and in in uh, in in this in this. Uh, all the nodes share, uh, send their data individ individually alone at a time at a time and and the similarly here also happens g2 uh, uh, this nodes is uh, sorry this nodes send their data to the leader node and this leader node uh, raise up to raise raise up and also and these also form the group and here these two nodes submit their data to the one another leader node and this leader nodes contact with or submit the data to the base station so here here it is a chain based but it is a it is a different from the data binary scheme so this is about all about the data aggregation and their algorithm thank you